What you just heard was a Viking war chant. People uh, quite often now are doing it in sporting events and games, but at one time I don't think that was any game at all. Today we're going to talk about ancient dolmens and how they have been found across Europe and into Russia and how many that they have found and also their variation on the theme slightly and uh, the confusing dating that they give these going spreading back from just 4,000 years ago so 2000 BC all the way to to a much much older time some dating at 25,000 years ago but you can see that there's also a directive to discredit what's already been credited at some point here one thing that you notice about these is that some of these holes that are caught all the way through this gigantic piece of stone are a perfect cut circle as if a giant drill just drilled a disc out of it and so there's a circular entrance that's there and there's usually a rock near it like this like this like this and this harkens to the idea of a tomb like Jesus where they roll the stone away or have some form of protection for if a cave bear is trying to get into that he can't get in but you can stab the hell out of him while he's trying also the entrance is seen to be a few inches off the ground so bugs don't come in as easy snakes don't crawl in as easy and things like that but people can go in and out relatively easy but they don't have a full doorway on them and they believe a lot of them were domiciles but also at the same time they may have ended up being a burial and after that point they're no longer a domicile but other people took them over later and so on the amazing thing here is that you can tell it's got the four corners of a house and usually the walls are slightly pitched in so it's not gonna collapse and fall apart like a house of cards would and each one is just is suspending each other at the same time simultaneously and then there's a giant platform put on top of it and some of this storm is stone is quite worked and uh, some of the lids on these things are round and it harkens to an idea of a sarcophagus at some point but it also has an idea of something that looks like a a dog house or even Fred Flintstone's house from when you were a kid so it's quite amazing. Let's look into this. 25,000 year old buildings found in Russia. In the Caucasus Mountains of Russia, not far from the cities of Chelnichik, Tuapis, Navorosisk, and Sochi, and Sochi is the only one I named right, <laughs> are hundreds of megalithic monuments known as dolmens. Russian and foreign archaeologists have not yet discovered their usage. All of these megalithic dolmens you see below in the pictures are dated from 10 to 25,000 years ago, according to the website Kaikion. Other archaeologists put the age of these megalithic structures, or some of them, to four to 6,000 years ago. Thousands of prehistoric megalithic monuments are known throughout the world, some of the least known outside the former Soviet Union, however, are those in the Caucasus. These dolmens cover the western Caucasus on both sides of the mountain ridge in an area of approximately 12,000 square kilometers of Russia and Abkhazia. The Caucasian dolmens represent a unique type of prehistoric architecture built precisely in dressed cycloptic stone blocks and platforms. 
The stones were, for example, shaped into 90 degree angles to be used as corners or were curved to make a perfect circle like individually curved pieces and when you put them all together it makes a circle like in segments. The monuments date between the end of the 4th millennium BC and the beginning of the 2nd millennium BC but they've also said that some of these date to 25,000 years ago. There's a series of them in one area that they were dating it 8,000 years ago. I'm sorry, 8,000 BC, so 10,000 years ago. But now it seems like they want to take them all and put them under a blanket, I guess. While generally unknown to the rest of Europe, these Russian megaliths are equal to the great megaliths of Europe in terms of age and quality of architecture, but still an unknown origin. And I wouldn't say that it's quite up to the par of something like New Grange or Stonehenge or anything, but there's a working of the stone that's there, not a usage of it, but a working of the stone that's definitely there. For you can't compare it to Stonehenge or New Grange that line up to celestial alignments and all these things. And while these things mainly face to the east and so on and, and west, and uh, a lot of things also, if you look at the valleys where they're found at, the prevailing wind would put the door away from the wind and da-da type thing too, but it doesn't seem like they're linearly lined as so much at this point. But they have to gather and get a bunch more data, but at this point it seems like as they walk up to them, they start discounting them before they even start looking. Which is a sad trend in archaeology. While generally unknown in the rest of Europe, these Russian megaliths are equal, supposedly, to the great megaliths of Europe in terms of age, quality of architecture, but still an unknown origin, as they said. And so now we look at some of them, and you can see some more recent times and how this one has a look to it and a knobbing and things that are built onto it, but then other ones that have a lot more wear and tear other ones that look very built very slavish and sure you can find those slabbing of rocks and cubing of rocks that are naturally built but you're gonna have to dig them all out you're gonna have to pry them off you're gonna have to carry them across the countryside and do so just so on this little tell mound you can build something like this and there's quite a few bit of difference even in these they speak of but this one, which isn't showing real well because it's got the stupid symbol above it, seems to be somewhat open. You can see the front stone is pulled off the top of it. But in this environment, or this occurrence, the left side is not as far tall as the right side is, so the left side has an extra stone put on it to get to the same height as the right one. But they are still making things level and square already at this point. And these Caucasian dolmens represent a unique type of prehistoric architecture built with precisely dressed large stone blocks. The stones were, for example, shaped into 90 degree angles to be used as corners or were curved to make a circle, like I said before. In spite of the variety of Caucasian monuments, they show strong similarities with megaliths from different parts of Europe and Asia. And the Proto-Indo-Europeans, and all the way like the Iberian Peninsula, France, Great Britain, Ireland, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Israel, and even India. And for a reason. A range of hypotheses have been put forward to explain these similarities and the building of megaliths on the whole but it still remains unclear, but we try to uncover it if we can. Here you can see that there are sets of them that are having this end pitching to them, but other ones that are almost exactly square. But they don't want it to fold out in any way, and then this one has a full doorway made in it. Perhaps it was all chipped out later and made into a doorway, something bigger, who knows. This one you can see is leaned in on its sides and leaned in on the front, so it's actually effectively making a pyramid out of cards if you were when you were a kid where this one is meeting one in the back at the top these are leaned in on it and you put one on top 
just like when you're doing castles out of cards but these are cards that weigh tons and interestingly there's one here that has the same scribble lining that you see in many of the new Grange type sites and in these cairns that are all over in Europe Ireland and so on right and here we have a weird carving on this one too that even is squared off as you can see that with the two pillars that are on to it you'd think with the amount, the amount of architecture in this concept right here this has to be much much later but it gets a confusing thing to where did somebody bar relief this after the fact with this concept on it the aging on the bar relief said it happened a long ago and you can see how deep it was buried in the dirt whenever they found it in the first place approximately 3,000 of these megalithic structure monuments are known in the Western Caucasus but more are constantly being found while more and more are being destroyed today many are in great disrepair and will be completely lost if they are not protected from vandals and broad and general neglect in fact I've seen a whole series of pictures whenever I looked up a couple of years about the same thing on dolmens and so many of them are collapsed and so many of them that they figured out are dolmens are really just piles of rocks now and it looks like at least one or two of the stones have been stolen if not more and so on these dolmens are found in the area of Krasnodar Krasnodar is a city and the administrative center of Krasnodar Krai in Russia located on the Cuban or Kuban River about 148 kilometers or close to 100 miles 92 northeast of the Black Sea and there are many different ones here's one of those more open related ones and it looks like they're using other walk-ups to it in some way there's a giant slab found in front of this one this one has this tucked in and inset doorway perhaps a moderner thing where they by making this extra projection on the front are keeping from wind and rain and things making it to the front of it almost making it an atrium if you will but man there's one that looks just like a pyramid it's been worked as such and there's another pyramid structure in Europe that probably predates the pyramids in Egypt. Concentrations of megalith dolmens and stone labyrinth have been found a little studied throughout the Caucasus Mountains including Abkhazia. Most of them are represented by rectangle structures made of stone slabs or cut in rocks with holes in their facade and these holes are conspicuously cut too by the way. These dolmens cover the western Caucasus on both sides of the mountain ridge in an area of approximately 12,000 square kilometers of Russia and Abkhazia. The map above shows locations of the dolmen structures. The original source for the following image came via Russian website, and I don't think we have the map, and maybe down later. The dolmens have a limited variety in their architecture. Floor plans are square, trapezoidal, rectangular, and round, and we even saw a pyramid one. Trapezoid is just a pyramid with it cut off, though, much looking like the Sumerian buildings and stuff. All of the domains are punctuated with a portal in the center of the facade, with round portholes are the most common. Square ones are also found. In front of the facade is a court that usually splays out creating an area where rituals possibly took place. The court is usually outlined with large stone walls, sometimes over a meter high, which enclose the court. One wonders if this mobile tent for them doing smoke-out rituals for the ancient Scythians and so on, if this wasn't a permanent version of the same thing, and maybe if connected to ancestors, uh, who, who knows? Did they use them only in certain times of the year when they would come to hunt? And this is a hunting lodge. A lot of it's been put across. A lot of it gets dismissed. Nobody comes up with an exacting thing on what it is yet.
but it seems like in many cases yes is the answer it is in this area that bronze and Iron Age pottery has been found which helped date these tombs along with human remains bronze stools silver and gold and semi-precious stone ornaments but some of those date before the Iron Age for sure in fact they have found dating that goes back inside of Cairns that go to 25,000 years so are they just being reused over and over again the repertoire of decoration for these tombs is not great vertical and horizontal zigzags like in the ones we find over in Ireland and stuff hanging triangles and concentric circles are the most common motifs one decorative motif that is quite common is found across the top of the porthole slab so as a header and this is seen in so many other places and for a reason and of course that would be a common thing too it can best be described as a lintel held up by two columns pairs of breasts done in relief have also been found on a few tombs these breasts usually appear above the two columns of the porthole decoration and so this might make it a symbolic womb of rebirth for people to be buried in somehow in ancient rituals that I've talked about quite a few times and again now connections could possibly be made on what these were used for for at least some time perhaps related to these are the stone plugs which were used to block the porthole and are found with almost every tomb they are sometimes phallic shaped and this again might give the idea that what we're doing with this ancient cave is causing a rebirth in a primordial womb with red ochre burials buried on their left side in fetal position facing the east no they don't seem to have all that together at this point for that's another form of an aspect it seems that they just put together with it where they have this rising sun and the re-resurrection thing okay that's going on well now face your tombs there we go now we're lining up with it everybody hmm, get in key one of the most interesting megalithic complexes or group of three dolmens stands in a row on a hill above Zane River or the Black Sea coast in Krasnodar area near Geliznik, Russia here's a map of the areas they're finding with the dolmens and then they have cluster sets with the green yellow and the purple again and all the red are like classic I think is the key hundreds of them and this is the Black Sea here right there's Krasnodori speaks of right out over here is Batman yeah there's actually a town called Batman got it in a couple of my videos I did one where I even put the Batman sound in it and they actually flagged me. All I did was do the na 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 Batman and they flagged me uh, a year and a half after I made the video. In this area is a great concentration of all types of megalithic sites including settlements and dolmen cemeteries. Large stone mounds surrounded by tomb monuments. Kurgan burials and stuff aren't far away and connective things too. Some unusual items are associated with dolmens are big round stone balls, double balls, and animal sculptures. And in your mind, you can probably make the connections from that. But here are an ancient people that are rarely spoke of that seem to have come just from that time before recorded history and what they had going on and uh, we need to get into this much more also too and find out what we can find about those because when we find a proto-indo-european burial that's so interesting perhaps we can dig up a few of these and see what it says if it gives us a positive intent from there continue to do more anyhow guys uh like share and subscribe and enjoy 
and we'll get on to the next.